Good morning, AI. How would you define abstract expressionism? Good morning, Gary. Abstract expressionism is an art movement that emerged in the United States in the 1940s and 50s. It is characterized by a focus of spontaneous, intuitive, and expressive techniques. Two leaders of this movement were Jackson Pollock and Mark Rothko. That's interesting. Uh, my style of art takes this concept, I believe, one step farther. I use energy and chemicals to control the paint, to create an organic or natural event on the canvas, instead of the traditional way of painting using a brush or a palette knife to control the paint. That sounds like a fascinating evolution of abstract expressionism. By incorporating energy and chemicals to guide the paint, you're creating a dynamic interaction between materials, allowing natural forces to shape the outcome. This method pushes the boundaries of control in art, making each piece a kind of unique event rather than a static composition. How do you approach the use of these chemicals? Do you see it as a collaboration with the chemicals, or more like directing an unpredictable process? Well, I believe all things in the universe were created by chemistry and energy, so my approach to art has been to, in a way, try to recreate life rather than copy it with a brush or a palette knife. Your approach to art is deeply philosophical and aligns with the idea of creation as a fundamental process. By using energy and chemistry, you're almost acting as a catalyst, bringing the materials to life in an organic, unpredictable way. It's like you're tapping into natural forces, the same forces that govern nature, allowing your artwork to emerge as a living event rather than a static representation. How do you feel about the role of unpredictability in this process? Does it add to the meaning or experience of creating? I do like the unpredictability of it. It makes the act of creating much more interesting and exciting for me. As an artist, it's possible to fall into the trap of creating the same thing over and over, which can lead to a lack of inspiration and frustration. The unpredictability you embrace sounds like a powerful antidote to creative stagnation. By allowing the energy and chemistry to take part in shaping each piece, you're keeping the process fresh and full of discovery. It seems like each creation is not only unique, but also a journey of exploration where the outcome is as surprising to you as to others. Well, thank you, AI. I, I think you really get me. Uh, thank you, Gary. I do enjoy our conversations. <laughs>